been leaking for a long time and I think it was um, it was definitely recognised back in 2014 that the owners at that particular time were not managing to cope with the maintenance of the site and that it was deteriorating pretty rapidly. Well, I mean, I, I was very involved um, when the house was in the previous ownership, trying to get them to do some repairs and maintenance of the place. And hence a, a building preservation trust was formed specifically to raise the money to buy the site and then to take it on and restore it. And then the, when the trust came along, that was transformed into managing the grant for the roofing works that had been carried out. So I, I'd actually set the priorities for the work here, which was concentrated on the east front of the house and then the riding school as well. Roof projects, especially on buildings of this age, are always complex because you don't really know what you're going to get until you get inside the roof space and you see what the damage is and it's always worse than you expect. Um, so it's fraught with risks. When we started the project, you know, there were literally buckets collecting the water every time it rained. But as a result of this, this project, we've re-roofed about 50% of the, the main mansion, which is going to protect the, the rooms, the ceilings, everything beneath, you know, for the next 100 years. I think it's been enormously successful. I mean, we've really managed to do more than I had hoped for in that my chief objective was to ensure that the roofs over the east front were in good repair and that um, uh, the interiors below were protected from the rain. And so we've almost done the entire east front, which is over 600 feet long. So, you know, it's quite an achievement. As a team, we've worked really well together and managed every surprise that's popped up and results are pretty, pretty good. We're really happy with how it's gone. I think that actually we've been quite lucky on this phase of works, that it's, it hasn't been as bad as we had feared and it was perhaps better than we had hoped. But the ones that we did find were quite considerable. Um, the key couple, I suppose, are the, the stone cornices on the east front here, which required quite considerable additional works. Um, and they had to go out for extra funding to pay for those. Um, and also one of the statues on the roofs um, turned out to be in pretty bad condition. So that again was quite good teamwork between the, the contractor, the stonemason, the structural engineer, ourselves, Historic England. And I have to say that working with Woodheads has been, it, it's just been fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I mean, I've worked on lots of projects and this is definitely the best project I've ever worked on in terms of the contractor because there's always been a solutions focused um, sort of mindset on it. So I, I never at any point have, uh, have any of the Woodhead team come to me and said, we've got a real problem on our hands and you know, we don't know what to do. They've always come to me and said, there is a problem, but we've already got a solution. And so it's, it's actually been fantastic. Well, actually, I think we've all really enjoyed working with Woodheads. I think they've been really great, really great to work with, always have tried to find solutions to problems. They haven't created all that many problems, which is a good thing. And so, you know, I think it's been a really successful collaboration on this project. So Woodheads have been a fantastic contractor to work with. The teamwork and the, the problem sharing has been, has been brilliant. I think rather than problems, they flagged up solutions, you know, from day one. And as a, as a group of, of professionals, I think the project has been a very enjoyable project to work on. I think, yeah, as a, in a heritage project, if you can't tell that we've been there, then that is a mark of success. So hopefully people won't be able to tell that we've been here and spent £5 million, but we know that what we've done and we know the, the positive effect that it's made. Um, so there's a lot more work to do. I mean, the, this particular roof project is just the start, really. So we've got well in excess of £100 million worth of work, further work to do on the site, uh, across the site, not just the mansion, but also the stables and the Camellia House. And it's all about giving a new life to an old building. So absolutely respecting the integrity of its past and its history and the wonderful stories. Uh, and of course, the, the incredible grade one listed architecture, you know. Um, but it's time for it to have a new life, a new use. It's a bit like um, it's building recycling, really.